In 2020, we made the huge decision to sell our home in the lower 48 and move north to Alaska to live a way of life free from the hustle and bustle of big city life. Join us here as we share our everyday adventures living free in Alaska. The following video is from 2021 when we first moved to Alaska. We will be catching up the vlog in real time daily throughout February. Previously on Living Free Alaska, we spend our last 24 hours in Canada as we traverse the Yukon and the 49th state in our new home of Houston, Alaska. But not before experiencing major engine issues that stop us dead in our tracks, literally just miles from home. Okay, we just snowshoed into our property. Holy crap. That's our neighbor's house. This mountain's back over there. Clouds are hiding the mountains over here, but they're there. Okay. Let's see if I can turn around without falling. My snowshoe fell off. Oh yeah. See? Moose poop! Probably want to get as much height as possible. But I don't know. I think this is the highest elevation. Yeah, this is the higher elevation. It's just so cloudy over there, you can't see the, the mountains. mountains. Okay, we just got a little bit higher. Look at those mountains. Do, 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 do. A lot of clouds in there right now, but. Yeah. All right. We're going that way. All right. We made it out. <laughs> <laughs> All three of us. Yeah. <sighs> There's mountains, and oh dang, he made it. <laughs> now my turn. All right, that's the property. Sophie, are you gonna be a good girl today while we're gone? Oh, what, you wanna go? Okay, come on. Well, you kind of missed the hole. You wanna go? Off to the property we go. This is it. Welcome to our Alaskan homestead, uh, or as we're calling it, our Houston hideaway. Uh, today's plan is to chainsaw out a road to get back farther and um, kind of get an idea where we're going to place the house and shop. Zippy little one. <laughs> Finally. Once it gets going. Well, we're making a good chunk of progress here, uh, cutting in a road where we would like the driveway to come in off the road. We're back probably 100, 150 feet or so. Just trying to get to where we want to put the house, which is going to be back over that way. But uh, yeah, tedious work. 
we don't even know if we need to do this, but we want to do it. We want to be a part of this build. So, it's been a good day. Oh my gosh, today it actually feels real. We are here with the excavator and we are uh, basically marking what trees stay, which ones go to make our house pad. This is pretty exciting stuff. Um, I don't even know what to say. We're still finalizing plans, but at least now we have our site plan all developed. And uh, Gary is deep in the bush right now, figuring it all out. Um, we had some wildlife. We uh, stirred up a mama moose and baby. Luckily, they went the other way. Um, I think they're going to be a little upset. We're moving them out of their home. But the nice thing is we're on the edge of the swamps. And they have plenty of other places to call home. And I'll be honest... I'm okay with sharing our, our land with the moose. It's hard to believe that we could envision our home layout with a thick brush hampering our vision, but with technology such as Google Maps and elevation maps provided through the borough, we had a pretty good idea of exactly where we wanted to build the house. The hardest part was getting the excavator to see our vision, but in the end, he nailed it and we got exactly what we wanted. Oh, this is about where I was standing the other day. Yeah. Yeah. Keep that. I don't know how far to go. I don't know. Here's our driveway. Guys, nice, Mary. Good girl. Good girl. Hey. Let's do it. Come on. Here, oh, you found a higher spot. Yeah, I, I see more mountains. All right, I need to go over there. Yeah. Well, we are on a tall mound. Uh, behind us is north. Over that way is south. And uh, I'm going to flip the camera around and show you the site. Because we can pretty much see it all from here. All right, we're going to start at the driveway. The road is over here, that's a neighbor's house across the street. And the road comes up here and our driveway is about in there where it comes into the property. And right here it Y's, and if you go that direction, it will take you to the RV parking area, which is that clearing there. Or if you go this way to the left, it will bring you into the house site. And the house will be an L-shaped, with our two car garage about right here. Our living quarters will be back in this corner. And then the RV shop and toy garage will be right in this area. So you'll basically come in and go into the garage or with the motorhome into the motorhome. This cleared area all in here will be trailer parking, regular parking, turnaround area and just open space and our goal with the house is to clear these trees down and we should have mountain views and as you can see right now maybe on the camera there they are zoom in the mountains are there so we should and you can tell the tree line get my finger in here right here is low enough most definitely from a second story we'll be able to see over those and maybe even from a main story from this back corner where the house will sit because the property also that back corner the property does 
it keeps Slope down to the swamp. Yes, it starts going down drastically, and our property keeps going that way to a point. And then way back over here, we have a whole nother 300 by 300 foot area that we own that we could make trails into. And I think maybe we'll put one or two cabins up there, off grid cabins over there, and maybe one cabin down towards the swamp some more. Or maybe by the RV area. I don't know yet. But um, you can see Spirit. She's in the main driveway. The driveway has only been rocked to there. So the rock will come up and level. Uh, it looks like they dug out a well site. You can see it right behind the um, Ranger. Ranger. And uh, yeah. So last week this was completely forested. Then they took it down and then they had a fire on Thursday and burnt all the wood. So we've found three test holes. One is here, one is back there, and the other one is yeah. over here. Yeah, the well. And they are all high water table. So we have to wait until yeah. Friday for a, a civil engineer. civil engineer to help us with our septic well and uh, foundation plan. That's what it looks like so far. Pretty nice. So we're pretty excited. This is uh, this is looking pretty good. Our neighbors, yeah. we can only see roof lines. So there's a roof right there. There's a roof right there. And from here, we can't see our other neighbor there over that way. But uh, we're all spaced out pretty yep. well. Yes. And um, it's a... Uh, it's our, this is it. our Alaska homestead. Right, making it work. Big pile of dirt right now we're standing on. As you can see, <laughs> we are very elevated compared to everywhere else because the excavator put all this dirt here. So we're on a little mini Quimby mountain. Yep. All right, so here is where the driveway comes into the house. As you can see, they've brought in big rocks to uh, stabilize it. <laughs> And here you can see some of the water muck that they're dealing with. But we'll drive in and drive straight into the RV boat garage right here. And then the house will be back in that corner. And the car garage will be over here. But uh, another look. There's the mound we were just standing on. And this will be just... Um, parking area, trailer parking, turn around and open space. I could see where Gary's standing right now. Maybe put my garden in there. Or maybe out right in this area. I'm kind of excited about getting a garden in. Next, I'll take you over to the RV pad. All right, so there's the road and the driveway coming in. If you go that way around that shrub, that takes you into the main house. And if you come this way, this will bring you into the RV parking area. We should be able to get three sites in here for visitors and guests and family and friends that come up in their RV. And then the shop and house should come right up to about this point. And this is the well that uh, we believe they dug. And uh, we don't know the depths, but that is new. That was not here before. So every day, a little bit of different change in progress. So I'm currently standing at the back of our RV parking area. And the entrance to the RV parking is right here. And again, there's our new well and where the building will come out to. So this area will still somewhat remain private for RV use and keep the house um, out of view. And you can't see any of this from the road. Maybe if we put a site right there, but you shouldn't see it from the road. So this will be our home in a couple of weeks once we get this developed flattened graveled and get water and electric put in this is where we will live through the rest of the build until we can move into the shop
gotta keep climbing. He was loaded on that one. He had, he had a lot of stuff with him. It took him the, almost the full length yeah. of the lake. So he flies out to a lodge, a remote lodge, uh, way the heck out there for About a fishing. 70 charter. miles, they said? 70, 75 miles that way. And uh, uses this lake for staging. And uh, when he's loaded like that, it takes a bit to get up. So he started way down there and he got up about right here. Yeah. So he's banking around to head, head west. Head to the lodge. Yep. The loons don't like him. <laughs> They're complaining. And just like that, gone. Way back there, but gone. Over the 4th of July weekend, we were invited to go out for a camping trip to a friend's cabin deep within the Talkeetna Mountains. This was our first true test of the capabilities of our Polaris Ranger in the Alaskan wilderness. It was a 26 mile run into the cabin with many mud holes, stream crossings, and other obstacles. And despite Stacy's fears, the Ranger did well considering what we put it through. In all, we put over 100 miles on a ranger that weekend, exploring Alaska's backcountry, miles off the road system. It was a great time spent with friends riding, fishing, target shooting, and hanging out by the campfire. A memorable holiday weekend that truly beat our expectations of tent camping in Alaska. I would like to take a moment and thank you for watching our new channel, Living Free Alaska. As you can tell, this footage is more than two and a half years old. We originally published this content on our business YouTube channel, RVing to Alaska, back in 2021. We felt it was important to bring these videos over to our new channel, Living Free Alaska, because it tells our story. It gives you a chance to get to know Gary and I, as well as shows you what life has been like since moving to Alaska. The channel has exploded this past week since starting to update these videos here on Living Free Alaska. And Gary and I would just like to say thank you to those of you who have chosen to hit that subscribe button and follow us as we make our dreams come true. We are so excited to have you here, and we look forward to bringing you new content each and every week. In the meantime, I hope that you're enjoying these Catching Up the Vlog episodes. It's been fun re-editing them and reliving these memories with you. Okay, we'll get back to the video now.
next time on Living Free Alaska after a few setbacks from buying a piece of land in the dead of winter, the big machinery has arrived to start shaping the land into the Houston Hideaway homestead we dreamed up on a piece of paper less than six months ago. Thanks again for watching as we catch up the vlog to real time. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you're notified when we post again. And lastly, we hope you'll join us again next time here on Living Free Alaska.